I have some cool knives. Really nice, I think. My wife actually bought these for me to protect myself, I suppose. But I never bought a knife for myself, I don't think, until the last week or so. And I found out I had some garden work to do. And I was working in the garden with my knife. And that's a good way to muck up your knife by getting dirt all in the mechanism and having to clean it out. So I said, I need a knife that has a blade on it that does not fold. So this is what I got. Now that is a fine knife. The problem with this one was that it didn't have a good grip on it where I could actually hold it and work with it. My wife had to make this grip. I'll show you a picture of this. This is the Z Hunter. Now with this, this cool looking uh, cover here, it works great and feels great. This costs $11. <laughs> $11.09, I think, and still available on Amazon. It comes with a sheath. Not going to protect too much. You might be able to stick yourself through here if you used it a lot. But that's quite a deal on a a blade. <laughs> Good job. But when I got this, this was the first one I bought. When I bought it, I said, I got to have something that has a better handle on it. This is not going to work for me. I want something I can hold and uh, use as a tool. So I bought this one. Now this cost $29. This is a more serious knife. I think, well, they're both serious and they're both good for what you pay. This one comes with excellent knife with has a very nice handle on it. Very good. That's good. Nice thick blade here. Serrated edges there. So this is a good all-purpose knife here, even has a little whistle, if you get in trouble, which I always do. <laughs> so there, that's cool. Excellent sheath here, or a, a holder, a knife holder. It has built-in blade sharpener, and this thing is incredibly sharp. I could shave with this right now. It fastens in nicely, even has a fire starter thing here, which I'm not likely to use, but it's cool. It's all nice. This is, like I said, $29. So for my purposes in the garden, this would work just fine. But then I said, well, let's see what else is out there. <laughs> This came in the mail today. Now, the better, the longer I shop, the better I seem to do. Twenty-nine, and this one's nineteen. Twenty-nine, nineteen. Now, this this could be used as a machete almost. It is thick up here. You could cut small limbs, branches, and things like that, bone, or whatever. It's got this kind of action going here that the others really don't have. Well, you could do this, but it's kind of lightweight for that. Kind of lightweight. This is a heavy weight. It's got a saw here, and this looks like a serious saw. I haven't tried it yet. 
but you could uh, saw limbs. This looks like an excellent camping tool. I mean, really excellent. When I was a kid, I did a lot of camping, and I took always took a machete with me. This is not quite the length of a machete, but it seems really quality. That's nice. That is nice. And it comes with excellent uh, knife case or sheet here. It's got plastic in here, so this is not likely to deteriorate or possibly hurt you the way this one is. This is not uh, protected in there. This one is. It's plastic, so that's protected. But for $19.99, I'd say go get it. <laughs> I'd go get this one. It has fire starter and a sharpener in here. I'm not going to pull these out because I don't want to put them back in there. And I'm not ever going to use either one of them. If I want to sharpen this, I have other tools for that. But there, this is the Lancer Tactical. Very nice, very nice. The thing I love most about it, the, the handle feels great. And it's like almost like a, a small hatchet in your hand that, that feels really good. This, this is great for whacking things that way or sticking them that way. This is nice. Very good. And this is cool too. This is great too. If you need something a little smaller, it snaps right in there, snugs down really good. And there you go. And you got a whistle, which might save your life, you never know. And this one, for $11.09, is a no-brainer. <laughs> You'll just have to decide whether you can live with the, the handle that is not, not man-shaped. This is a good size right here, but I've wrapped Velcro around and this cloth to make it that way. All that's in here are a little, uh, this type of stuff wrapped around the blade. So this doesn't have a really thick and nice handle. The handle it looks nice, it's very cool, but it just doesn't give you a good manly feel like that of holding on to something that you can uh, thrust home and kill a victim or something of that nature, if you know what I mean. So there, these are my three knives, and I'm not going to buy any more. I think with these three... And these three, and my two machetes, I got enough to uh, fight off any kind of critter that might come around my house, uh, animal, human, or otherwise. Thanks for watching. So here's this one. Eleven. Dollars and one cent. This is a best buy, I must say. Cool one. It says the Z Hunter. And this is how it looks with my handle put on it. That is way too thin right there, I think. And here is the Gerber. Twenty nine forty nine Ultimate Pro. That's a good one too. Now the listing doesn't show this one as dramatically as my video does. I don't think when you compare it to the others, it is a big one. Very nice. And super low price for what you get, I think.
That is quite, that's quite a knife. Really thick up on the top it gives you a very nice feel for hacking down on things. And a very nice, very nice case. Thanks for watching.